Order tonight, a major defeat for Governor Kathy Hochul as progressive lawmakers vote down her choice to lead the state's highest court. That has never happened before and signals a big problem now for the governor and her agenda. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer joins us to explain what it all means, Marsha. Well, Dick and Dana, many see Governor Hochul's decision to nominate Hector LaSalle as an unforced error, picking a former prosecutor regarded as too conservative at a time when progressives want the court to serve as the liberal counterpoint to the U.S. Supreme Court. The nomination is lost. After a five-hour hearing, the Senate Judiciary Committee handed Governor Kathy Hochul an embarrassing defeat, refusing to allow the full Senate to vote on her nomination of Judge Hector LaSalle to head the State Court of Appeals. Left of Senate progressives went to great lengths to paint LaSalle, a Democrat, as way too conservative, even lambasting him for once accepting the cross endorsement of the conservative party, a time-honored tradition when many jurists run with multi-party lines. The conservative party also supports Supports radical right Supreme Court rulings against women, immigrants, workers, the environment. So I'm extremely shocked and disappointed that you would have, at any point during your career, thrown your lot in with them. I ran as a judge. I ran, I ran as a judge both times, just as I took the working families line when it was available in 2008. And I run as a judge and I make decisions based on the law and I apply the law the same to everyone. In what appeared to be a carefully orchestrated effort, various senators picked apart a handful of decisions related to unions, voting rights, and abortion access. And in an unusual development, it was mostly left to the six Republican senators on the 19-member panel to mount the strongest defense of LaSalle, who had hoped to become the first Latino to steer the state's highest court. You know, when reading your decisions, and especially in listening to your opening statement, I thought for a moment I was in the wrong room. You do not come across as a right-wing conservative nut. In his opening statement, LaSalle talked about growing up in a union family that came to the United States from Puerto Rico as poor immigrants who worked hard to achieve the American dream. So let me tell you a little about my beliefs and what my vision is for the court. I believe passionately that our justice system should be the great equalizer. Its door should be wide open, with equal access to justice for people from all walks of life. Bronx Democrat Luis Sepulveda waved flags from Puerto Rico and other Latin American countries as he defended LaSalle. There's been a character assassination, uh, uh, misinformation about your cases. Well, meanwhile, Governor Hochul is digging in her heels and is preparing for a possible court battle. In a statement, she said she believes the Constitution requires action by the full 63-member Senate. She called the hearing unfair because several senators announced their votes days ago. Dick and Dana. All right. Thank you.